Hello and welcome, I'm Vanelli. Now, this is another edition of our Luminar Coffee Break. And the topic today is how to add additional elegant items or elegant um, elements to a formal portrait or a formal photo. Now, what determines what's a formal portrait versus just a regular portrait? Think about what they're wearing. You know, somebody wearing a beautiful wedding dress, you know, a bride and groom, and they're standing underneath uh, a tree-covered path with the trees that are 100 to 150 years old. That's just a beautiful formal setting. You can just see it. Take those same two bride and groom, bring them to New York City, have them stand on a street corner eating a hot dog. Not as formal. All right, so it's more of an informal setting. Now, there could be a reason why you did that. Let's say that's where they first met over a hot dog, or that's how he proposed to her, and there they are in their wedding dress and he in his tuxedo. So those are things we have to look for, and what we want to do is make sure... Um, hello, Carlos. Um, some of the things we want to make sure we do is add to the elements into the scene and just make them look richer or... More elegant. That's the best way to explain it. So let me share my screen real quick. So here's an image taken by one of our Skyline ambassadors. This is the original image that we're going to be working with. Now, I'm almost positive that when the couple saw this image, they loved it immediately. Well, even without it being processed, the long flowing gown that she has, um, the backdrop, it just, I like it. What we want to do now is add a little more, a little add a little more touch of elegance to this. All right. So, think of it from that perspective. When you're photographing, let's say, a senior portrait, an engagement photo shoot, um, and I, forgive me for always mix, messing this word up, quinceañeras, um, for the uh, Spanish Fifth Street Fifteen. When you're doing formal photos and you're in a formal setting, make sure the props represent how formal everything is, and then make sure your edits go along with that, all right? Now, before we begin, I do want to take a moment and thank our partner, Fuji Films. Thank you so much for helping us <clears throat> with our Luminar Coffee Breaks. They had two ebooks. The first one was on perfect portraits. And you look on the bottom right there is where you, you put the bit.ly in. And that's where you'll, you can download the, the ebook from there. And the second one was on speed lighting techniques. Now, I apologize. Once again, they sent me a killer camera to work with. I've had this for almost two weeks. And I've yet to be able to go out and shoot with it. Last weekend, I planned on it. And on Friday... I completely lost my voice, so um, I had to do some bed rest and get myself back to normal. I was dying to get out there and photograph with that. So I'm going to make sure no matter what I do, I get out there and I shoot with those because it's killing me. It's killing me. All right, let's get back into this here. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello. And by the way, guys, if you don't mind, thank you so much for joining us. If you like what we're showing, Please click the like button uh, before we leave. This way we can tell if the episode was good or not for you. And um, it's kind of like an inner ratings. So we have a whole crew crew of people checking this stuff out for us. And based on your comments, based on the like values, determines whether or not you're able to um, keep bringing that type of topic towards you or for you. So please hit that like button. Thanks. And Rick, yes, correct. They said the ebook was not available in the UK. Um, I think we talked about this, but shoot me um, an email, Rick, and I, there may be a workaround. All right, so here we are. What's the first thing I notice is the 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 um, background is tilted slightly. So here's a tool you probably haven't seen before. We'll click on the canvas tools, and underneath the canvas tools, you'll see lens and geometry. 
We'll click on that. And for vertical, we'll apply a negative value just to straighten it up a little bit. Right about there. Now, if you are starting in Photoshop and you're bringing it into Luminar as a smart object, start this in Photoshop because Photoshop is designed for this kind of stuff. But I'm gonna show you if you don't have Photoshop, here's how you can fix it. So once I do that, oh, let me get back to it. Here we go. So once I do this, you'll notice the gray boxes around. So that means obviously there's nothing there. So what we want to do is scale it instead of cropping it. And if I scale it a little bit bigger, there we go. I can hide the fact that there's no pixels there. There we have it. Um, in horizontal, let's see if we can move it. Nope, I like it right where it was. Okay, that's fine. The aspect ratio is fine. Maybe if I bring it in. All right, that's good. All right. So let's see what we had. Before and after. Just that little extra is making a difference. All right, so we have that set. Now, like I mentioned before, I love starting out with a look. And I'll start with the AI image enhancer because these are the tools I normally would start with. <coughs> AI enhancer does a great job. That's it. Now for light, I always like to start with a negative value on black because it kind of enriches the blacks. And for this image, I'm going to go a little bit deeper. Look at that. And the shadows. Good. I mean, already the image is looking great. Look, before and after. Look at that. All right, so we have it set. Now, if you notice something, because I applied, because I applied that look, yep, guess what? Because I applied that look, look what just happened. I end up losing my lens and geometry. So let me fix that real quick. I thought it looked a little different. There we go. And scale it. Right there. Good, there we are. All right. So before and after. Awesome. All right. So now I like I like where it's heading, but I really like for this to be a little more like golden. Um for whatever reason for me, it seems like like the golden colors, uh, the golden colors scream formal. So I'm gonna come down here to golden, golden hour and just add a little touch here. But this red is getting decent, it's getting saturated. So let's come out to the colors. And I just wanna focus on the red, but not only do I wanna desaturate it a little bit, but I also wanna tone down the brightness of it. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, much sharper. There we go. That, that fixed my problem. So again, I went to color, and I focused only on the reds, desaturated it just a bit, and then lowered the luminosity value of it, or the brightness of it. Structure. Let's see what happens when we boost up structure. Good. We're going to notice it in our dress. Tops, the tree, or the, the skies. I like that. Now, earlier today, so, um, all right, so Mary Ann brought on a point that said, should you, should you straighten the photo last? Um, I don't, and I'll, I'll tell you why. <clears throat> In a case like this, Mary Ann, is if I did, I'd, my eye would be so distracted that, that it's not, you know, since the one piece of hair that's sticking out, you're like, ugh, it's killing me. I like to fix it first 
However, because I applied an AI image enhancer look to it, it erased it. So I caught that early, thank God. Apply the look, then straighten it. Notice it's all on the same layer. So notice it didn't create a new layer. So you're fine. All right? I hope, I hope that answered it. Um, all right, so we're back here again. Again, before and after. But I'm really liking this. Um, I'm going to come back over to replacement sky. Now, I, I went to replace the sky earlier today. And I got to be honest with you, I just wasn't happy with the results. Mm, that's fine, but you know what? I'm going to go back to the original sky. I like this. Let me jump over. So I put a dramatic sky in. You know, the more I'm looking at this now, oh, God, I'm going to I'm gonna have to really rethink how I edited this because I'm liking this much better. So I like everything where it's heading. I want to save this as a new look real quick. Just in case, I want to add um, something different to it. Uh, let's call this formal. All right, good. So we have, we have the look formal. What I can add to it, which I've really gotten into, <laughs> is the augmented sky. Birds. Now that's a little, well, that's a lot of birds. And number three, I think, yep, there we go. That's just the right amount. Just a little bit. I wish there were doves. That would have been so cool. I want to place the object. Let's put these like over here. Yeah, so they're coming into the scene. I guess so they're coming into the scene. And my eye is being drawn down into them. I'm going to move it one more time. Right about here. Good. Now, if I enlarge it, it means that they're closer. If I shrink them, it'll make them appear like they're further away. But I think this is fine. And hey, that's good. Right there. And last, I think, is the vignette. Uh, down here's been my focus point. There we go. Look at that. Right there. And we're complete. Let's make sure I didn't... Good. All right. And then we can do our traditional, come all the way to the top, layers. Bring it back to zero. Let's gradually increase it. You know what? Full strength looks pretty good for this image. And there we have it. All right. So before, which again, I, I, I'm almost positive when this couple saw this image, they were in love with it. And now after. So, just that little extra that we've added to it to make it look a little bit more formal and the, the beauty of it, just to bring out the, the colors. Um, we, we made sure we brought the colors. We added some birds to the scene, left the original clouds, and then from there we took an image that was good and just made it great. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. If you have questions about this, please do us a favor. Hit that like button if you liked what you saw. Leave a comment below and let us know what you'd like to learn during these coffee breaks. Now, the coffee break should take between 15 to 20 minutes. So if you think of something you'd want or that you're having difficulties with, let me know and we'll try to air it on the next coffee break. Well, I'm Vanelli, and once again, thanks for watching.